Hello everyone of this very good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, a frozen two, and now time to die, and now for all fans, it's all one year And doing two, I left my charger at D26, which is my job school, but apparently, I don't understand why I keep doing it, it's been a fourth time I've done that, but don't worry, I'm doing one video in one day, because I have 62%, but even worse, it's gonna be 10% here in a little bit. So I might shut my iPad down for the night, and I might do some few pose, and then I'll... And then I will be taking a break, do some my path for um for tonight, and I'll get back doing my original stuff while I do tomorrow. So hey guys, and welcome back to another Q and A. This one is episode thirty seven. So hey guys, we got six questions. So enough further to do. Now let's get this Q and A started, shall we? So hey guys, the question go to Fun Time X X D. What is your favorite adult cartoon? Well, originally it was Family Guy, and after that it was South Park. It's because of Phoebe. And third, it was originally a Harley Quinn, the animated series. But honestly, guys, my favorite adult cartoon, do I have to search it up? Fine, I'll search it up. Come on. Thank you. All right. My favorite adult cartoon, not now, Grace. Uh, uh, honestly, not now, Twitter. I'm doing my stuff. Anyway, my favorite adult cartoon, it has to be... Let me look up the po better poster. It has to be this show. This show is honestly one of my favorite adult cartoon i ever seen in my life. If you haven't seen it, what the heck? Or, um, um, I mean, uh, I mean, honestly, honestly, um, what the heck you been? I like me, you watch that show. It's an epic, brilliant masterpiece. So, you guys, my favorite show is The Axis. So, that's my favorite show. And the, um, and the question goes to Mature Frozen 2 fan based on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and happy late anniversary to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. That movie is an underrated gem. It's the most underrated movie from the director that who made the Spider-Man movies. That's pretty awesome. Not a Tom Holland Spider-Man. Honestly, guys. And not definitely the, um, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. I'm talking about the, uh, I'm talking about a, um, a Tommy Bergrell Spider-Man. Sorry guys, and I'm um, sorry guys, and we got a ton of questions about Doctor Strange too. Sorry guys, number one, uh, what is your opinion on my favorite character from Doctor Strange, which is Megan Couple? Honestly guys, she's honestly one of my favorite characters of the film, next to Scarlet Witch. And, and speak of her, number two, what is your opinion on Scarlet Witch? She's honestly one of my favorite MCU villain because it was originally Thanos, but Scarlet Witch kicked Thanos as the favorite MCU villain. I don't understand why some people think Scarlet Witch should not be the villain. And honestly, guys, and I was saying myself, uh, people, have you not read the comment? Have you not even watched the WandaVision? MCU know what they're doing because MCU always follow the comic book so material. And Kevin Feige, and Kevin Feige is the GOAT. Uh, I mean, is the GOAT. Um about following the soul material with even James Gunn, but Kevin Feige will always be my favorite MCU. So yeah. Sorry guys and thought on Doctor Strange. Are you talking about the um um honestly guys um are you talking about the killer himself or are you talking about the first movie? Honestly guys I think the first movie was a really awesome movie. It's way better than the twelfth movie. For God's sake, I would go to the I would go to the time travel and travel all the way to 2016 and instead of seeing Troll movie, I would have seen Doctor Strange and Fatos. I don't understand why I saw Troll 2016 and Fatos. I cannot believe I waste my money for that baby nonsense. And number four, what is your opinion on Wanda fighting, uh, fighting off um, um, women Nazi in the Multiverse of Madness? That is honestly one of my favorite scene of the film. And screw people that uh, um, uh, think that scene was really pointless about a female employment. No bull crap. And number five, what is your, um, what is your opinion on the post credit scene from Multiverse of Madness? Honestly, guys, uh, which post screen are you talking about? It's going to be spoiler. Uh, spoiler alert. It's going to be some spoiler. So if you haven't seen Multiverse of Madness, just go watch Disney Plus of that movie. And then you can come back in this video. And so, hey, guys, which post credit scene are you talking about? Honestly, guys, are you talking about the post credit scene um, that Multiverse of Madness set up for the third movie? But are you talking about the Bruce Campbell scene when you say... Oh, it's firing over! And boom, that's your um, boom, that's your post credit scene. But uh, which honestly, that uh, honestly, guys, that post credit scene is kind of easy in my opinion, but it's just me. Yup, man, not bad. This is honestly one of the best questions I ever read in my entire life in this video. And so, you guys, the question goes to Hunter, and now I had to blame back the 2016 Ghostbuster. 
because I would, uh, because honestly, I would, uh, honestly, guys, I really want to forget that movie, but that movie keep pulling me back in. Hunter, uh, Hunter, I know it's your, um, I know that's not your fault, but honestly, guys, I'm just going to blame on the Ghostbusters 2016. But speaking of that, which Ghostbusters movie is better, the 2016 reboot or Afterlife? Guys, do you always think I'm stupid? No. Of course, Afterlife is 100 times better than the 2016 reboot because the 2016 Ghostbuster have nothing to do with the Ghostbuster because um 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 uh, because honestly um the director who made the spy movie which I'm not a huge fan of and I um and honestly I'm not a huge fan of his work because he um uh, because anyway he went to the different direction and created his or uh, um his own freaking self for the original Ghostbuster and that movie have nothing to do they ruined Blue, uh, Bill movie they ruined the Ghostbuster and Morris the Coffee was really dreadful in that movie yeah I don't want to talk about the 2016 Ghostbuster yeah that movie would kiss my butt all I care it's way better saying the A would okay let's continue all right Afterlife is 100 times better than the 2016 Ghostbuster yeah 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 I'm not gonna talk about the 2016 Ghostbuster anymore Sorry guys, the question goes to Creed Studio. Which Pixel movie is better, Incredibles 2 or Saw? Well, originally it was Incredibles 2, but now I think Saw is my it's my true favorite Pixar movie because Saw is kind of remind me I am watching a Pixar version of my daughter's appointment, which is pretty awesome too. I never seen Pixar movie do that. That's pretty awesome. And the last question for the day is how to be a Batman Fantastic 2011. Number one, what is your opinion on Spider-Man 3? It's honestly, uh, honestly, guys, it's honestly one of my second worst movie from 2007. Even I think Shrek the Turd is way worse. And that is easily one of the worst Spider-Man movie I ever seen in my life. And that emo Peter Parker dance scene, screw that dance scene. And thank goodness Spider-Verse make fun of that scene. If they show that scene, I'll probably, um... I'll probably Peter be, um, I'll probably Peter Parker say, what do I want to talk about that? Yeah, nobody wanted to talk about that dance scene. And I cannot believe why they show that dance scene. And all the guy I don't understand why that dance scene is even exists. So yeah. And number two, what is your opinion on Mega Mind? Best animated film from 2010. Sorry, Tango. Sorry, Toy Story 3. And I definitely sorry to Despicable Me fan. I um Despicable Me fanboy. But honestly, God, I think Mega Mind is um it's a way better movie than um um Despicable Me. I don't understand why Mega Mind bomb at the box office and a lot of people just don't even care. Watch some mature movies. Man, bull crap. And number three, what is your opinion on the um? Um, 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 what is your opinion on the Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th has some good movie, but some movie is really terrible by Jason X and, the, um, and the one movie that Jason goes to New York City and kills some people. Guys, guys, let's face it. Uh, if you want to watch a way better movie take place in New York, I recommend you go watch Scream 6 because Scream 6 is easily like, uh, it's easily like the movie when, uh, Jason go to the, go to New York City. If you, uh, on the, uh, uh, on the guy, I'm not gonna tell you what the movie title is, but that movie is easily like the, the bad, uh, Friday the 13th movie done right. Because, um, because honestly, honestly, guy, that's how, uh, honestly, guy, that's how you do, that's how you do a, a, a movie, uh, take place in New York. And honestly, guys, do not watch Norman North. Norman North is a terrible movie. Take place in New York, and that is terrible. I hate that movie. It's terrible. Scream 6 is 100 times better than Norman North. And the one movie that Jason... I mean, no, 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 no. Not my better Jason. No, I'm talking about... I'm talking about the Friday the 13th Jason. Um, um, when he goes to New York City and kills people. That is... Uh, honestly, guys, that is way worse. But Scream 6, go watch that. Do not watch that one movie, which... And sorry guys, and what is your opinion on the American Psycho? Best movie from 2000. Sorry the Elba's New Group, but even uh, um honestly guys, even the Elba's New Group is the funniest comedy movie from 2000, but uh, um but honestly guys, let's face it, that is not my favorite movie from 2000. I think American uh, 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 uh sorry, I almost said it was. Sorry. Um American Psycho is 100 times better than the Elba's New Group. And number 5, are you excited for the Mega Mata, a Megatron from the um, from Illumination, the movie about the bird, the bird doing comedy. Uh, I'm really excited for it, but really, uh, that movie is how you follow up to the Super Mario Bros. movie. I was really thought it was the Legend of Zelda, or even or, or even better, the the reboot of the Sonic uh, of the Sonic movie. 
And that's kind of disappointing. Will we, Elimination? Will we? Um, this is how you follow up to the Super Mario Bros. movie, the biggest movie of the year. Eh. Eh, oh well. Well, a probably Elimination will be where it would, because like I'm on, we got two upcoming movies, but Elimination, I'm not excited about, like, uh, like, uh, like, um, uh, uh, this movie 4, and the stupid Saint 3, which honestly, guys, I don't understand why people, people want Saint 3, or give a Saint 3, Saint 3, Saint 3, and Elimination, yet again, nippling some people, and now they're going with Saint 3. Thanks for why Saint 2, fame base, this is me, this is why I hate you. Sorry, guys, that was my Q&A, episode 37. I'm very sorry this Q&A is, uh, honestly, guys, I'm very sorry. I just, I just did something, and now my question is all messed up. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, if you want to see more Q&A, please, I recommend you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share this video with your whole family. And this is the only video you're going to get, because it's 62% on my iPad, and it is 5, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my area. So at sex, I'm gonna get downstairs and I might use the bathroom and um and all that. And so hey right, guys, I see you next time. It's so long can peach you too. Have a great night everyone, and I see you guys next time and I see you guys tomorrow afternoon.